1969, dude. This is 79. it. 79. We're almost exactly 10 years apart. I know, right? I'll be turning 40 and you'll be turning the big 5 <sighs> Dude, it just sounds serious, though. You know what I mean? But I don't feel any different. I know. I know. I'm like, it's it's more the number that bothers me than anything else. Yeah, because I'm yeah. still just as inflexible as I was two years ago. Right. You know? <laughs> and at least we didn't age like Rhonda. Oh, I know. Because Rhonda's like 38. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And she sounds like she's 68. You know? Hey. No, no. 68. Smoke it up. Uh, it's, no, about a 98. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. The, um, oh, my God. This is crazy. Hey, everybody, this is Carlos and Sandy Lee, and you're listening to the Off Your Flosser podcast. We're here to rock your world. Thanks for listening, everybody. (laughs) (laughs) And go floss yourselves. Thanks, everybody. Now go floss yourself. Hey, guys, it's episode 12 of OIF podcast. (laughs) And uh... (laughs) sounds like sound a, a, a seal makes when he's hungry. OIF. Oif, oif, yes. Um, or that uh, Irish battle call, or I don't know. Oi, oi, I don't know who yeah. that is. But uh, Conor anyway, McGregor? So, yeah, sure. UFC? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Proper I'm, 12. I'm, proper 12, yeah. That's okay. his uh, Irish whiskey brand. Oh. Yeah, I, not yeah. a big cool. UFC Irish cool. whiskey drinker. Okay. Oh, I'll wa- I'll watch it when it's on because I used to do martial arts, so I'm like, you know, takedowns and all that fun stuff. You didn't do all that though, did you? No, I just did. I did uh, martial arts, but then I did judo too, which is kind of like wrestling or something like, like that. Like throws and stuff, right? Yeah, hip throws. Ronda Rousey um, does that. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. A little bit of that. We did a little bit of everything because it was kind of a mashup. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. It was I think fun. if if I was in a fight and uh I got taken down that uh I'm going to tap out. <laughs> um or and just guy, roll away. <laughs> and the guy's laying on top of me. I'm like, "All right, dude, I I quit. Here, here's my wallet." Like, you know, I give up. I give up. Just me, stick you your know? knife right here. You know, It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but they teach you how to scramble around and get out from yes. underneath a grown man trying to strangle you. Yeah, right. That, that's Yeah. I like watching it because I can appreciate the athleticism. I would never want to get punched in the face like that. Those guys try to kill each other. It's it's right, unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. Blood it, everywhere. That's... It's it's a nightmare. That's for younger people. I'm not doing that. Oh, yeah. Um, so it's January 8th. This is back to the intro. <laughs> okay. We still didn't do Jan- the intro? <laughs> not completely. It's January 8th, and this is episode 12. All right. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. We've been into it. Right, yeah. We were talking before we started recording the uh, the actual podcast, but uh, what were we talking about, Carlos? Kids? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You, uh, you saw a cute little eight-year-old boy and... Uh, yeah, well, I had, yeah, like, like three kids today, and I never have three kids in one day. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, it was just... It was just fun because, you know, all I see is, you know, I see a lot of perio and stuff. But, but the kids, they were just, one, one wasn't real chatty. But the, the, the second little boy was super chatty. And he was just a little personality guy. I told you what he said, right? He goes, uh, that oh, math yeah, was his favorite kids. subject. Yeah, man. And I'm like, so you want to be an engineer? He was like, no, nah, I want to be a YouTuber. Oh, God. It, Poor kid. And that's a job oh. now. Is it? Well, so John, uh, sometimes on like Saturday nights or whatever, he'll just go through YouTube and watch it. And there's this one guy on there and what he does is he does covers of, um, different like rock songs or random. And I, I'm trying to think of his name. It's Leo, Leo something. And it's Frog Leap Studios. And apparently he makes decent money. Because once you have so many viewers or subscribers or right, whatever, right. they then... can monetize your videos or whatever. Yeah, I don't know how the, all that works, but yeah, yeah. No yeah. So, so uh, so he I, he covers like guitar, bass, drums. He what? does everything. He does really? everything: the vocals, the lead guitar, bass guitar, drums. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, Leo. 
It's like Macchioli or something like that, but it's Frog Leap Studios. So you, you could probably search nice. Frog Leap Studios and it'll come Yeah, up. I'm going to look it up. Um, did I ever tell you that I tried to teach myself how to play electric bass? Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah I, think of, I think of the guitars, the bass would be easier, but I don't know. Uh, no. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I think that it's a different... It's easier, I think, than a guitar, but it's not easy. Right. No, no, no. I wouldn't expect it to be you know easy, what I mean? but... There's yeah, still, yeah. you know, because you, you, you know, you, you're not, you keep the, the, the rhythm, you know, and uh, I always like bassy things. Yeah. And um, I, yeah, I like my car to vibrate when I listen to music. Yeah. No, well, uh, to a certain, I like to feel a little thump. Yeah. Yeah. But I had it rigged up to a, a mixer and I would yeah. play Chili Peppers a lot, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I would turn the bass down on the music and then plug in the guitar into the back of the mixer. And have both of that stuff going out to an amplified speaker, and I would oh. rock out, and it was acoustically wow. horrible. But I was having <laughs> an absolute blast doing it. You know, that's what it's all about. Oh and were God. you like rocking your your David Hasselhoff hair, dude? And... and I and I remember thinking, this is way too much fun. Yeah, you know, and I know <laughs> I'm nowhere near playing it like Flea was from the right. Chili Peppers. Yeah, but it didn't matter because I was the only right. guy in the house. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> and it, it's still crazy fun. It was close enough. So, do you equate that to uh, this little kid saying he wanted to be a YouTuber? Like, you probably won't make money doing it because statistically, you you're just you know you're just not going to be the to be, next, to be a next bassist next... prodigy. Right? Exactly. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. So this not kid. At all. I don't know. May or may not be the next YouTube well, you know, hit. You know, you know? I, I'll say this. Now, I don't know what he's going to YouTube on, but he, right. he definitely had a, a, a cool little personality, you know? Yeah. And, well, uh, you need that. You, and you got to be kind of fearless. And then I think to be that chatty yeah. you know, in a medical office, a dental office with a complete stranger, you know, even yeah. though his dad was sitting there. It still he still it still has to be inside of him to to be that chatty I guess right you know what I mean how was the how was behavior was he like a good awesome kid? awesome wow yeah just 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 an an awesome little kid and I was like I, like you know and my son was the same way when he was little nice. just super well behaved I mean he's twenty two now and he's he's a good kid yeah but, but he's but but he, I forget he's twenty two he's not a little baby anymore you know what I mean he's not fifteen sixteen right. years old right. I can't. Yeah, I'm just glad I get to see him every day, though. I'm real excited. Oh, about yeah. That. yeah. That's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Like, I'll catch him sleeping on the couch, you know? And uh, he'd kill me if he heard me telling you this, right? You so know. I'll come over, <laughs> and I'll throw a blanket on him, and I'll kind of, like, mess his hair up a little bit, you know? Aww. And I guarantee he's not asleep every time I do that. You know what I mean? I think, oh, I, I think he yeah. likes it, but he doesn't want me to know that Aww. he knows that I know, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. I'm How a big sweet. Yeah, I'm a big softy, man. So... The reason I ask if he was a good kid, because the the thing is, like, I feel like good kids, good manners, like, and they have some talent. They should grow up and they should be successful and, or, or you know, even Happy. not grow up and be successful, right? Like, like us. The kids that deserve it or, you know, they don't take it for granted or they treat, they treat their parents well, stuff like that. But I just saw that that one girl off... Dr. Phil, the cash me outside. How about that? M Ms. that Tough, girl. Ms. Tough Pants over there? Yeah. Uh, oh. I think her real name's Danielle Bergoli or something like that. But so now she goes by Bahad Bahabi. That's her Instagram name. <laughs> I think it's supposed to say Bad Baby, but it's spelled Bahad Bahabi. So, yeah. What's, what's with that, you know? How do you get famous by telling your mother and calling like audience members all these names and being completely disrespectful? And then you start going, "Oh well, I'm going to be a rap star." And but I mean, apparently it worked for her because she just dropped forty thousand dollars on veneers and and you know making her smile untouchable. She's only fifteen. Yeah, no, something's up there, dude. So I don't know, but she has tattoos, and I don't have a problem with tattoos. But she's fifteen now, like fifteen. Let me tell you something. That episode on Doctor Phil would have ended yeah. with Doctor Phil 
pull my mom off my neck. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, uh, so what I said was, you know, if if I talked to my parents the way she talked to hers, I'd have to drop 40 grand on my teeth, too, because I'd have to have them all redone. Mm -hmm. Somebody would have knocked them right out of my head. Clear out. Se seven through ten. Just Boom, spitting them gone. out. Gone. <laughs> I'd get a partial. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford no implants. You know? <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I'm, I don't want to talk about her too long because she doesn't deserve the, no. the spotlight. Not the for that kind spotlight. of behavior. Hell no. No, she doesn't. Anyway, but, yeah, I put a meme up on our uh, Instagram that said, you know, if I talked to my parents that way, I'd have to spend that much money on my teeth, too. All right. Well, everybody talks about how things are better when when you were a kid. Every generation says that about their generation you know what i mean like oh well, when i was a kid, kid yeah, like, you know oh, kids yeah. listen to the parents and i remember we had a little bad kids then yeah but i remember growing up and mom putting the heat on us man she whacked me with oh a, yeah with a oh, belt yeah. across the legs a couple times and uh right you know and it was perfectly acceptable i remember working in a supermarket right in the mid 80s yeah and ethnic people will beat the hell out of their kids you know maybe maybe not anymore <laughs> But in the mid 80s, bro, I remember one time I was putting up like these bags of rice and I said um, to, to a mom, I was like, ma'am, can you please just watch your son? Because he's he's keep pull, he keeps pulling on these bags. Right. Oh, gosh. Yeah. And she grabbed him and was whacking him in the, in the aisle. And I kind of felt bad, but it was still kind of funny, too. You know what I mean? <laughs> You do the crime, you do the time. Yeah. I mean, I didn't want him to get beat. I just wanted her to say something to him. But right. um, she snatched him up. Yeah, she grabbed him by the collar and <laughs> whacked him a couple times. You know. Yeah. Uh, but that My was a different time that, and place. Oh. I, I I don't know. I I think a little, uh, especially for a boy. Maybe not so much a girl. But yeah. For a boy, something sometimes nothing gets their attention like a like a little bit of heat. You know, you got to warm them up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Hit that reset button. I remember getting swats in school. Uh, for example, I think I was like in fourth grade and, you know, I got like that ADD stuff going on. So I would just never return my homework. I would do it and it would sit in my bag or I'd half do it and it would sit in my bag and I just never turn it in. Well, I, <laughs> I got sent to the principal's office cause I did it so many times and, uh, and he swat me Who? with the, you know, the wooden paddle, the principal, the principal. Yes. Shut up. That's. No, they used to do that. I remember uh, I went to Catholic school for grade school. Yeah, yeah. And um, one of the nuns smacked one of my buddies. Oh. And oh, I just remember man. thinking, oh, my God, if she smacked him, then nobody's safe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, and what are you going to do to a nun? Nothing. <laughs> exactly. You're, you're, you're going to hell if nothing. you touch her. Yeah, so... <laughs> You better She's hit a like, cop or something before you hit a nun, you know? <laughs> yeah, you might go to jail, but you go to hell. You know, you go to jail forever, you know, for eternity. <laughs> but no, we were all, I mean, I was a good kid. I, I You know, I didn't really, you know, I, I was always clowning around. But this was 78, 80, 81, where if you got hit in school and then you go home and they be like, mom, sister, whatever hit me. Then she's gonna hit you again for right upsetting the nun that bad. You know what I mean? Yep, yep, yep. Mm. I think I can't remember, but I think my parents had to sign a form that said that, that that I could get swats at school. Oh man! Like they didn't mind if if I got swats and ah, uh, you know. I mean, to me, it's like whatever doesn't break you makes you stronger. I, there's a limit. There's definitely a limit. But uh, hey. I mean, look at how kids are acting today, and people are saying the timeouts work, and I don't know. I don't have kids, so so maybe maybe uh, there's just something I don't get. But when I was a kid, yeah, well, you know, <laughs> I, my, my my kids are adults, right? And right. I remember pop, and it wasn't a, a spanking; it was like a swat or two, um, right? Just a get handful of attention. times. Yeah, just a handful of times when they were doing something completely negligent or dangerous or something like that you know yeah but never yeah. out of anger it was just sort of like listen you lied to me about x y and z so i gotta you know give me your phone yeah and turn around pop and and, and it was more of a humbling than it was painful you know what i mean yeah it hurt their yeah. feelings more than anything yeah else. yeah 
Cause, cause I mean, I, I used to go, I used to get whooped all the time, <laughs> so I didn't want that to do that to them. But I don't know how how did we get here on this bad cash me outside? Oh yeah, that how girl. about that anyway. kind of girl? Right? <laughs> she needs a hobby other than yelling at her mom and getting all crazy, getting veneers. So how oh, she, yeah. how, how's she making money? She's a, she's a, she's a she does rapping or something. She she's a rap. I guess I don't know. Yeah, I haven't listened to any of her stuff, and I really don't want to because then that just gives her more like attention and all that. I just eh. okay. Well, I- I'm looking at uh, on Google real quick, right? I... And uh, she's on <laughs> Apple uh, Music, Spotify, Pandora, and one of her songs is Gucci Flip Flops. Gucci Flip Flops. Oh. Yeah, the second hey. song is um, High Bitch. Oh, B I C H. B I C H, is it bitch? Yeah, oh, that is bitch. just straight to it. Bish. And then, and then these these hoes with the uh, with the 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 French spelling H E A U X. Wow, these hoes. Okay, all right. So classy. She's a classy. That's exactly what I gathered. From gospel-y that. Yes. type of stuff. Okay, That's right. Good to know. <laughs> There's I don't even know. Much more we can I know. Say. I, I know. I, I know. Half of the people are gonna be like, "Yeah, you should spank your kids," and the other half is gonna be like, "No, you should never put your hands on a child." You know what I mean? Right. Um, yeah. 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 But I'll go back to my, you know, middle of the road time and place. And if you're doing something dangerous or illegal, you need to you need to heat them up. So, so guess what I've been doing for the last uh, four, five, six days? Fasting. Oh psh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to eat. What? <laughs> what? what? You crazy? You what am crazy? I? What am, what am I? A political activist? No. Uh, yeah, like right, yeah, come on now. Uh, no, I've been working on that puzzle that John got me. Oh, is that yeah. the one with the donuts that you, you posted a picture of? No, that was somebody else uh, in Lighthearted. They posted their donuts. Uh, mine is actually like a beach scene, so it's nice and serene. Oh. And uh, yeah, so, so I got a little excited about the donuts. I'm sorry. I did too. I saw him. I was like, "Damn!" If no, I can't do food as a puzzle because then I'd be looking at that for like a week. And yeah, we can't have that. I'm already <laughs> hungry all the time. So, <laughs> but no, it's some fancy beach scene that John got me for Christmas, and I've been working on it. He's worked on it for like maybe a couple of days, and then you know, and then I think he kind of got bored with it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Like I've got. How's it coming? Uh oh, it's good. It's good. Like uh. I don't know. I'd say I'm like three quarters of the way through, maybe. So percentage, about 75%? Uh, yeah, 70, 75%. No, no. So, uh, do you do you put the outside together and then work your way in? How do you do Oh, it? yeah, yeah. Whatever. I mean, I guess that's cheating. I don't know. But I look for all the edge pieces and I do that. How's that cheating? Then, it's still a puzzle. I don't know. <laughs> it's, I don't it's called know. Strategy. Are there rules? Are there rules with puzzles? The only rule in puzzle. <laughs> Placement is there are no rules. Oh heck yeah, you know? there are no rules. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I did the outside pieces, and then this one has a um, a horizon going through the middle of it. So I put that together. So I had like a you know a three layers of uh, you know put together, and then I'm gotcha. filling in the bottom, and I'm filling in the top, and I'll go to this place, and then I'll go to this place because I can't figure this part out anyway. So, yeah, so somebody posted it in Lighthearted that, you know, where are all my puzzle peeps at, you know, whatever. And there are a lot of people that really love puzzles. That was surprising. I got to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I know they exist, but I feel like it's what your grandma gets you for Christmas that you don't like. (laughs) You know, try to, you know, increase your intellectual abilities and keep your mind crisp or, you know, whatever, but... But apparently, uh, I am enjoying it, and I guess others do too. Hmm. What What if you get to the end and you're like short two pieces? I would kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said, "Oh, I get mine from yard sales," and I was like, "No," because then I'd write down their address and go kill them. Or okay, that's a little much. But I would go and TP their house <laughs> if I were missing pieces. <laughs> That I I I don't yes. think I can handle it seriously. If you get I, all the I way to the either. end of a thousand piece puzzle and you're missing, I, I couldn't sleep. Like the the cat's eye or something. You're like, oh my but, god. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. my god. We're talking World War Three. Somebody's kind of stuff here. Somebody's got to go. 
Or, or actually, I guess that's first world problems there, huh? I would go to that yard sale and be like, cash me outside. Uh, excuse me, I need two pieces to this puzzle and I need them now. And they'd be like, we're already outside. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to need my 50 cents back, okay? <laughs> right, yes, two quarters now. Per, <laughs> a quarter per piece that's missing. Thank you very much. <laughs> What'd you do this weekend? Anything good? Um... John grilled because it was nice weather. Yes, the weather was nice. I'm trying to think. Uh, Sunday, you know, we went to church, got back, and it was still pretty nice out. We just hung around the house. Not much. We we were kind of boring this weekend. Oh, so last night, you know how I'm on this special diet, which, you know, I'll kind of explain that because I know we've touched on it a few times, but we haven't, like, I haven't told people exactly what it is. You, uh, you, you say, well, I can eat this or I can't eat that. And right. I, I'm kind of afraid to ask, what is it that you can't eat? You know what I mean? Because <laughs> if you go, like, so, just happiness, and I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring it up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it, 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 I don't go to my dark place when I talk about it. That's for sure. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, so it's, it's an anti-inflammatory diet. So okay. it's for autoimmune disorders, stuff like that. So. Okay. I've been having like uh, thyroid issues, hypothyroid, and then um, the 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 one doctor diagnosed me with Hashimoto's, uh, which is an autoimmune disorder. So it's untight. You're yes, thank you. Um, so I'm this sorry. The, <laughs> I did that to you last time. This yeah, you did. That's funny, Carlos. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, so when I first went to this, it's like a health program. So it's not just a diet, but I go to the doctor and he was like, okay, before we get your blood test back, where we test for any inflammatory foods, cut out gluten and dairy and sugar and alcohol, caffeine, all that stuff. So I cut all that out and then it came with like instructions because I couldn't have like, it started out, I couldn't have chicken or nightshade vegetables. So that's what I was doing. It was very strict. And then once I got my blood test back that said what foods cause inflammation, those are the foods that I mainly cut out. Now, wheat was not on my list of red. So red is bad. Soy was my only red that causes a lot of inflammation. And it makes sense because I would go and have sushi and eat a lot of soy sauce um, or edamame and then I would feel like real bloated and da da da. So I didn't put two and two together until I took this test. So soy is my only red. I have a ton of yellows. They re- like weird stuff like pears, grapefruit, tuna, walnuts, eggs, honey. So you can't eat pears? No. That sucks, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. So peach, pear, um, grapefruit, uh, tuna, walnuts, I said all that, uh, all right. almonds, like I can't have almonds. Um, and then there's some like chemical things like, uh, FD food coloring, some food coloring, MSG, monosodium glutamate or whatever. Right. I can't Delicious. have that. Yeah. Can't have that. <laughs> um, and then like lemon, honey, cheddar cheese, Stuff like that. But I gave up dairy, so that wasn't going to matter anyway. Oh, and, then okay. the, and then the rest of the stuff on my list was all green. So, And I'm supposed to rotate the greens on a three-day thing. So if I have... Um, oh, I can't have lima beans, green beans, green peas. Those were on there too. So if I have a green food, I can have it on Monday, but I can't have it Tuesday or Wednesday. Oh so I have to wait till God, Thursday again. Dude. I don't do that part. I just make sure I eat all my greens... Um, and try to stay away from the yellows and definitely not the reds. But anyway, so I started that in September of last year, or well, no, now that we're 2019, it was 2017, September, and I've lost about 50 pounds, give or take, over that time frame. Um, I think I hit my goal weight, um, I don't know, like six months ago. That's but awesome, I feel, man. I feel tremendous. Like, my skin has cleared up. My skin's not as oily anymore. I feel better. I, you know, I feel healthier. Yeah. So, it, it's really done wonders. And and part of the reason why I went was because of the IVF thing. Like, IVF. I wanted everything to be, like, it's tip-top shape as I could. So, sure. that's what I did. 
So now that John is such an amazing cook, he alters any of these recipes to, uh, like, to reflect what I can and cannot have. Right. And one one thing he just made was hot tamale pie. Which, yeah, it, you were explaining that earlier, and it sounds yes. made up. I'm not going to lie to you. It might be made up, but it is freaking amazing. <laughs> <laughs> See, Tell the people what that is. You make cornbread, but real short cornbread. Like, it's not real thick. You put a layer of that down. You bake that. And then on top of that, so you stab it a bunch of times. So it also helps if you have a lot of frustration. Uh, you just stab the cornbread a lot. <laughs> and it has a recipe for enchilada sauce. So you pour the enchilada sauce over the cornbread, and it kind of soaks into the cornbread a little bit. Then you put taco meat over that, and then cheese. So then you bake it again. Once you take it out of the oven... You cut yourself a nice little piece of this hot tamale pie, and then you pour more enchilada sauce on top, and you freaking Mm-mm-mm. devour that like there is no tomorrow. That sounds pretty good, man. I'm not going to lie to it's, you. It is amazing. I love it. Love it. No, I was going to say the other thing that I was doing uh, to help with the whole IVF stuff is acupuncture. Have you ever done that? No, I did a report on it in high school, though. Synapses oh, yeah? and all that. Oh, did you? hmm And how'd that go? Um, I learned about it. It sounded interesting, but I never got around to trying it. I would, though. Yeah. So uh, I go to this lady up in St. Louis probably about a year and a half ago. I did something to my shoulder, and it's just gotten worse because I never went. Actually, until December, I went and did PT, and it started feeling better. And then it started feeling worse, like Mm. after I was done. So I go in there, and she's like, okay, yeah, we can work on your shoulder. So she put, like, eight or ten needles. They're sticking out of my shoulder. Are, are you sitting? Are you laying down? Or how does that work? I'm laying down because she's also doing, like, a fertility acupuncture thing. And I know people, I know it's like a pseudoscience, and there's not necessarily science-based evidence, blah, blah, blah. But it's but not going to hurt anything. Yeah, it's not going to hurt anything. I, I want to check these things off my list of things that I tried to make sure that this IVF cycle goes well. So I went to bed, not even, you know, not even paying attention. Usually it'll wake me up in the middle of the night. It hurts, you know, a good deal. And then I wake up in the morning and it's still painful, blah, blah, blah. So I wake up in the morning and the pain is like pretty much gone. Wow. And I was like, so I'm sitting here going, and I'm a little bit of a skeptic. I'm just kind of going through the motions because I want to be, you know, make sure I do everything. Right. So I'm sitting here going, okay. But I did nothing different. Nothing. Everything was the same. Except, except the for the needles. Yes. Interesting. Well, so I went this. to Dave. Does, does it hurt when they put them in? Uh, some of them. Some of them sting just a bit. Just for a minute, though. Like, and then it goes away and you take a nap and then. You're done. But Does she jiggle yeah. them? No. <laughs> no. So she'll stick them in there and then she'll leave the room and you just kind of rest for however long. What's this person look like? No, I, I don't know. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like, like she's not wearing like a, a dream catcher around her neck or something like that. <laughs> I, I guess how, is she Asian? Is, I guess is what I want to know. Oh, no, 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 no. She's, she's a white girl. <laughs> okay. I think she went and studied, like, East. Middle East? Far East. Wherever. Far East. Yep, that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. Huh. So, I think I think she knows what she's doing. She's got nice reviews. Like, the, the infertility is something that she has on her website. So, I'm like, eh, well, let's give it a whirl. Can't hurt. Give it a shot. Exactly. I would. And, uh, and my shoulder, like, immediately after I got out, it, it started to feel, I mean, right now, it's probably maybe 50% of what it was. And I've done nothing different, so yeah. <laughs> you should give it a try, though. I I do chiropractor before I do acupuncture. <laughs> I do that too. Do you? I've never yeah. been, dude. Uh, and I I've watched maybe 139 hours worth of back cracking videos on YouTube. Really? Is Over that a thing? Year. Is that a thing? Are you? Yeah, it's totally. I a thing. watched the pimple popping because that is freaking like oh. addiction, right there. That, you know, that's a TV show now, right? Yeah, San. Her it's name's Sandra much, Lee. Man. Everybody thinks it's me. <laughs> well, you know when I first. What do you mean it's too much? What did you just say? The the it's it's no one wants to see that while you're eating Are you dinner. Are you a dental hygienist? Yeah, I don't want to see that while I'm, <laughs> while I'm trying to eat ice cream or something. You know. 
No, but seriously, it's a thing. In a lighthearted group, they go freaking crazy. Yeah. Like, people will post links to them, and, and, like, I'm salivating as I'm watching them. Like, oh, oh, yeah, just get that one right there. No, 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 not that, not that one. Go over here. You get that. That's just, oh, yeah. that's a, th- yeah, no, she's, like, totally famous from that. That's ridiculous. I know. It's amazing. I love it. I don't like the real oozy ones, but the ones like blackheads and stuff, oh, those are my favorite. You can keep all that. <laughs> so, so oh, please. Dude, but the so, back cracking videos. Really? And some, of them, some of them put the microphone real close and you can hear it crack, crack, you know? Oh. And there's a guy that, in, um, and he's in Greenville, South Carolina. I might go make an appointment, honest to God. And he does, like, you know, the standard cracking and then, you know, you, yeah. you turn sideways. Then he breaks out this strap thing, right? <laughs> sounds sounds like a uh, sounds like a euphemism okay. for a gun in the hood. He pulls out his strap, right? No, it's yeah. it's like a like a loop of nylon with a little padded bar. So he puts okay. the the loop under your chin and kind of lifts your head off the table. So he's standing behind you, and you got your knees bent over the edge of the table, right? Okay. He stands behind you, so you're laying down. He's behind you. And he kind of yeah. puts tension and lifts your head, kind of jiggles it back and forth just to make sure there's nothing there. Then he gives it a tug. Oh. And you crack from the base of your skull to your tailbone. And your head falls off? <laughs> I've never seen that, which would be awesome. But no. Um, oh, my gosh. But people go, oh, my God. You like you hear him yelling out. And I'm like, I, I need that because yeah. I need that decompression. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Have you used an inversion table? Uh, no, I, love I don't mine. because there are weight limits on them, and um, oh, it's a long story. Well, you'll get there. You'll no, no, get I, there. I, I'm being silly, but um, I would, oh but I'm God. not buying one. <laughs> You're such a dork. <laughs> I'm not buying one just to, just to try. What if you know? What if I get stuck I upside got... down? Now I'm you know. No. My head explodes. I, I don't need that in my life. <laughs> Your and your head falls off just like at the chiropractor. You're so right, right. what's the problem? <laughs> Save yourself some money and do it at home. <laughs> but yeah, no, I gotta go because I got a weird lower back, man. I got like sciatic stuff, and you know my neck is a little kinky sometimes. And well, I think I, I you th- are almost fifty. Yeah, I know, <laughs> and I think I sit kind of funky at work. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm just, I need to just be. I I want that. I want somebody to just pull me from, like, just try to pull my head from my torso. Break your head off. Yeah. No, not you not know, break it off off, but just. <laughs> Just a little. Just rip some of the stuff that's holding it all together in, you know? Right. <laughs> and then your head flops over when you stand up. I know, because they don't twirl the neck muscles off. That'd oh, have you ever had, you probably haven't, but have you had like an internal oral massage? I know that sounds horrible, but. <laughs> Again, that sounds made up. That's like the. Uh... No, no, no. I had a massage therapist that would come to my house. She was like a friend of mine. So she would come over, bring her table, do the massage. And then she would put gloves on and she would massage my uh, buccinator or buccinator, whatever, buccinator, whatever you want to call right. it. Uh, and she would massage that and the masseters like so well that I felt like I couldn't eat, like my ha- mouth was just hanging open after she was done. It was oh. amazing. And I need that done so bad, but she doesn't, she doesn't massage anymore. I'm so I sad, never but... thought about that, but yeah, that sounds like a thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I watched one uh, video where the guy would crack your jaw, and yeah? I, that doesn't sound like it would be a good thing. Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess I'll have to to watch some of those on the on the tube. There's the hours YouTube. and hours of them. I bet there is. There's hours and hours of pimple popping. Oh, that's so gross, dude. <laughs> I don't know why that bothers me, man. I don't know. Because we do what we do, you know what I mean? But Right, yeah, yeah. It's funny how some things will disgust you and some won't. Speaking you know. of uh, doing what we do, um, I just want to thank everybody for voting for us for the, uh, oh, the yeah. Best Dental Podcast, which we unfortunately didn't win because there was some sort of um, trickery down at the at the main office. where. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. You know, it is what it no. is, man. And, and we, we, we placed... Ahead of a, of a lot of people that have been doing it a little bit longer, so um. I think I think we ended up about eighth or so. Like I I was trying to get it all figured out. There wasn't like a list of you know in order or anything, but we ended up getting about fourteen uh, percent of the votes. I think almost fifteen. Which was, I think right, like fourteen eighty five, something like that. Something which is a like lot. that. Yeah. So thank you, everybody. Which, 
I think it was like almost 750 votes, which is pretty good. I mean, heck yeah, we we were we were only out there for a couple of months, so yeah. heck yeah. Next so, year's going to be better. Yes, most definitely. Yeah, so that's pretty pretty awesome of you guys to help us with that. Uh, oh, and then so we still have our listen to win stuff going on. Yes, we're gonna we're gonna get some oif merch, merchandise, and together. you know if you can when you get the t-shirt, whoever the lucky winner is, if you could take a picture and post it, that would be awesome. Yeah, hello. Um, but yeah, so we're up to nine hundred and seventy three on Facebook. So that's twenty what twenty seven more, and then we're gonna give something away. And then on Instagram, we, could do we that have by four... this weekend. Hell yeah! Seriously. <laughs> and then um, 437 on Instagram. So once we hit We're 500 there. there, heck yeah! Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get our own t-shirts though. Oh yeah, yeah. I totally yeah, we'll want make... an Oif t-shirt. Heck yeah! Let's we do it. We can make that happen. Yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, I'll sport. I'll sport some. Oif Mert. Uh, the toothbrush challenge. Oh yeah. Uh, so we we did the quip, then the burst, and we just did the Oral B genius. Uh, and then I think what I want to do is do uh go back to my Sonicare just to kind of compare after like you know using all those. Sure. And then so maybe next episode we will do a recap. We've got like a little survey thing to fill out and kind of go over some of the. The stuff with the toothbrushes, and yes. then we'll give a, a nice review. So that would probably be the main topic of next episode, episode lucky thirteen. So <laughs> I know, so right? Keep it, yeah, keep Dude. an ear out for that. <laughs> it's well, it's twenty nineteen, a whole new year. We got all new, new, yeah. new things going on. Did I tell you I was on the uh, on a podcast? Oh yeah, you told me, but I, I'm sure everybody else wants to hear this too. So it was with Mark Costas, yes. right? And he does, uh, he's part of the Voices of Dentistry podcast summit, right? Yeah, he's one does of the hosts. Does that sound right? And I don't know if I told you, but they're, they're having me come out in March to do, uh, yeah, to yeah. do, to do some jokes. Yeah, so I, I listened to part of it when I could, and that was what I heard, is that you were invited out there in, like the end of March uh, to do your thing. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It is the Dentalpreneur podcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, number four, episode 482. It says, Stand Up with Carlos Rodriguez, and that looks awesome. Yes. You so. did good. Uh, from uh, I just listened to a little bit of it, but you did good. Oh, it real quick, that, that live Facebook thing. <laughs> that? Yeah. Oh, my god. That's what I want to talk to you about. <laughs> okay. It was so hilarious. What, what was oh so funny? Gosh. Just my whole awkwardness of the whole thing? No, it was just, you know, the the Murphy's Law part of it. Like, anything that can go wrong will. And I feel like there were a couple times where I could tell you were kind of sweating it a little bit. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and then I was, like, typing, Carlos, pull me on! I'm I, here! Pull me and on! I, I, I've <laughs> never done that before. Like, I, I've been live in vivo, yeah. um... By myself, maybe two or three times ever. You yeah. know what I mean? And one of yeah. them was on New Year's Eve. I knew you could pull people on, but I didn't know you couldn't pull multiple people on. Right. So and we definitely learned. My buddy Lynn gets on there, and then there, we had some feedback coming off of one of her mics or the phone. or. But anyway, it was fun, and now I know yeah. what not to do. And if you want to be on there, you got to use a uh, <laughs> microphone. Uh, and ear, earbuds, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was good though. We learned a lot, and it was hilarious. I I was cracking up so bad when I was watching it play back again it, because I guess I know what's going on the other end of it. Like because okay. you can't hear me talking. No. And I'm talking to you, and then finally I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hang up and and get on there. And then that's when all I could do was type stuff to you. That was it. <laughs> and at one point, you go. Pull me on or have somebody tag right. me. Yeah. You typed yeah. it. And I type in, can somebody please? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute. They can hear me. What am I, I doing? Go, I go, Carlos, you're on video. They can hear you. Just tell them. Just tag me. <laughs> Unbelievable. 
Oh yeah. my gosh! But that it was, was it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it because I was freaking out. The I whole did. Time. I did. It was. Oh, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> fun. You did great. You did great, Carlos. Good times. Did we cover everything? Yeah, I think that's a wrap. Dude, how do we go through an hour? Time flies when you're having fun. This is what I, I I've been forgetting. This last two episodes, maybe maybe even three. We got yes. the OIF hotline, 256-743-5677, 256-743-5677. Somebody, for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 256-74-FLOSS. Yes, for, hey. the, right, for you fancy people. And uh, yeah, you could call, say, hey, what's up? Uh, ask a question. Tell us, you know, some constructive criticism. Or or, or right. just just straight hate, and then we can go back and forth. We can do that too, right? Um, right. Which we don't really want to, but uh, but we will. Right. But we will. Yeah, we we do our thing, and or and then can... you can email. Sorry, yeah. email. Yes. At uh, offyourflosser at gmail dot com. Uh, Carlos and I both get uh, get those emails, so send them in. Uh, Carlos, I think next time I want to talk about. The craziest stuff you've seen on Facebook, because I made a post in the lighthearted group and we had some really good answers. So next time, I want to talk about that. Okay. Along and with our our reviews for the toothbrushes. And hey. What, and one of the things you guys can call or comment or email or tag us on our Instagram at Off Your Flosser Podcast or Facebook, same Off Your Flosser Podcast is uh, we're thinking about having a long-term uh, battleship game battle. Yes. And, oh, my God. I can't wait. Um, I'm probably, yeah. So I'm, I'm getting the game. You already have the game. I do. And we'll I'm do, ready. We'll do two moves a show until we're done. Okay. Is that cool? Yep. Like you do one, yeah. like B3. Yeah. Dude, this is going to take a year. I mean, we don't have to cut it off at two. We'll we'll just see how it goes. We'll just like randomly go D four, and you go, you sunk okay. my battleship. All right, all right. We'll just freestyle in the middle of a thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so people that that aren't paying attention, uh, they won't know what the heck we're talking about. No, and that's how we knew so. who, who the the true oifers are. <laughs> right. If you're an oifer, put your hand up. You know, put your hands up. Ooh, ooh. Oifer. That sounds like a. Uh, a, a religion from uh, like the 1600s. Yeah, I guess. The Oifers. Like a Quaker. Yeah. <laughs> the Quakers and the Oifers. The... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Go build a barn, you Oifer. <laughs> All right. All right. Carlos, All right. that's uh, episode 12 in the books. And then uh, episode 13 will be our reviews. We'll talk about some crazy Facebook stuff. And then uh, you sunk my battleship. Yes, we'll start that <laughs> nonsense. That's gonna be fun, though. Um, oh yeah! All right, Tons guys, um, and and thank you again for for voting for us, and we'll get them next year. And yeah. uh, don't don't forget to uh, go floss yourselves, please. Go floss yourselves. Good night. <laughs> thank you. Good night.